Now we start creating a vertex shader and we go to the main and in the main, uh, before we start the loop, we start creating the vertex shader. So to do that, we need to create a, a GL create shader. Okay, and the GL create shader is a function that creates a shader object and return its uh, identifier. Okay, so uh, to do that, because it's returning an integer, we just need to define an integer value, unsigned integer, call it vertex shader. And here we just have to call this function gl create shader and here we just have to pass in in this case is uh, gl vertex shader and then we need to uh, set the shader source code uh, in order to compile it so we just type gl shader source and here we have to pass in some parameters and the first one is the shader so we just uh, created a vertex shader here we pass in this one vertex shader the second parameter is the count uh, is how many uh, how many strings we're going to pass in it's just one string and then the next one is vertex shader source the source code we created so we have to pass in the address of shader uh, vertex shader vertex shader source and then the last one would be null because we terminated with, with a null uh, termination so we just pass in null here great now we have to compile the shader, the shader that we pass in. So to do that, we just type gl compile, compile shader, and then we just pass in vertex shader. So to check the compilation errors, we can do this. We can just write an integer success, or we can just call it int vertex success and uh, we just need a character character for the log if you want to get the response info log and 512 characters and then we just uh, call this function gl get shader IV. Uh, this uh, shader IV it retrieves the parameters of the shader object, and it uh, just checks if uh, there is an error or not, and gets the status of the shader. So we pass in the vertex shader, then we just. Uh, write gl compile status so it gives us the status of the compilation gl gl compile status and then we put the value in vertex success and we just pass it here so vertex success Now, if it's not successful, if it's not, then it's gonna give us an error message and tell us what's the problem in the code. So let's just try that. GL, GL get shader info log. And here we pass vertex shader and we pass in the character in prologue.
So we're gonna do exact the exact same thing for fragment shader with some changes. So we we'll start by um, creating a variable unsigned integer fragment shader is equal gl create shader and here we just pass gl fragment shader so now we have to set the shader source code so we just write gl shader source we pass in fragment shader that we just created here fragment shader then it's one string then we pass in fragment shader source which is here we just pass in this code here and the last part is not Uh, it's null because it's not terminated here as you can see null terminated and then the next line we have to compile it so we just type gl compile shader and we pass in fragment shader Check it. 
Kannst du dir das nächste Mal genau anschauen.